Now, closing stock. What is closing stock? Closing stock, mind you, is not actually a ledger account. What is the closing stock? Closing stock is goods purchased and not sold. Goods purchased but not sold. At the end of the year, suppose like in our example or in the previous example, 5,000 units were purchased and we sell only 4,000 units. There is a stock remaining balance of 1,000 units. Now, if our purchases, we cannot compare 5,000 units purchased with 4,000 units sold. If 4,000 units are sold, the cost of this 4,000 units sold is the purchase cost of only 4,000 units and the remaining 1,000 units is closing stock and that cannot be included as a part of the cost. But this is lying. This, this, this uh, 1,000 units cost is included in the amount of purchases. So what we do is at the year end, we actually pass an accounting entry for the amount of closing stock. What is the entry that we passed? It is closing stock account debit. Closing stock account debit. To trading account is what you have seen. To trading account, what we do. With this, this account, an account called closing stock is created, which is taken to the asset side of the balance sheet. Which is taken to the asset side of the balance sheet. So what is our accounting entry? Closing stock account debit to trading account. Alternatively, alternatively, if our accountant wants to uh, prepare a closing stock account, wants to create a closing stock account before the trading account is prepared, he may say closing stock account debit to instead of trading, he may say to purchase account. Why does he credit the purchase account? Because these goods could not be sold, they should not be included as included in purchases when we compare it with the sale. Units sold, 4,000. Therefore, units purchased should reflect the cost of only 4,000. So either we credit purchase account or we credit trading account, the net effect is exactly the same. Net, if, net effect would be the same. So, if the accountant passes an entry saying closing stock account debit to purchases, closing stock account debit to purchases, it would mean purchases is at a lower figure. And in that case, this closing stock need not, need not appear in the trading account. The entry has already been passed by the accountant. In a situation where the accountant says closing stock account debit, not to trading, but closing stock account debit to purchases, the closing stock would appear in the trial balance. The closing stock would appear in the trial balance. If closing stock appears in the trial balance, it is only an asset. It is an asset and would be taken to the asset side of the balance sheet. But if it is outside the trial balance, if there is a mention that purchases are 5,000 units, Purchase account reflects the cost of 5,000 units and at the end of it, outside the trial balance, there is information given that I still have a closing stock of 1,000 units. Then the entry that could be passed here in this case would be closing stock to trading account. Closing stock to trading account. When we do this, we credit the trading account and that is how we create the closing stock account. This closing stock would now be taken to the asset side of the balance sheet. So the closing stock may be outside the trial balance, which is normally the case. Or if it is in the trial balance, if it is included, if it is a part of the trial balance, then it will go only to the balance sheet. It means our accountant has passed an entry saying closing stock account debit to purchases or closing stock account debit to cost of goods sold, to cost of goods sold. So closing stock, if it's outside the trial balance, we pass an accounting entry, closing stock account debit to trading account. If it is outside the trial balance, closing stock appears on the credit side of the trading account as well as the asset side of the balance sheet because the accountant is now, now passing an entry saying closing stock account debit to trading account. 
But if it is in the trial balance, it means an accountant has already made the adjustment. He has created, he has passed an entry saying closing stock account debit and he has either credited the purchase account, brought down the cost of purchases or credited baby account called cost of goods sold. <clears throat> in that case, the closing stock which appears in the trial balance will only be taken to, will only be taken to the balance sheet. Goods in transit. Goods in transit, actually, when we physically count, how do we ascertain the closing stock? Once units are sold, units have been purchased, some of the units are sold, end of the year, we count the balance of units with us and we have concluded that there are 1000 units. Suppose when we count, we see that there are only 800 units and 200 units are actually in transit. We have purchased, we have recorded it as purchased, but the goods have not yet arrived. So they've been included as purchases, but for some reason, they are still in transit, not yet on the premises. If they were on the premises, they would have been a part of the closing stock. In such a case also, we would pass an entry saying goods in transit account, since it's already included in the purchases, goods in transit account debit to trading account. Or we could also take it to purchases account. But if goods in transit, again, just like the closing stock, if it is shown outside the trial balance, we would have to pass this entry goods in transit account debit to trading account. However, if it is within the trial balance, it would mean that the entry is already passed and such a goods in transit would be taken only to the asset side of the balance sheet.